Hi, in this video I'll show you how to perform a lookup on one item and bring back multiple values but have them separated out with commas. So let's say for example we have a table here, we have a SKU description and we have a SKU sales, salesperson region description. We just want to bring back all the salespeople for each SKU that they sold. So it looks something like this where we have our SKU, our item, and all the salespeople but they're separated by commas. And this is something where you can do, if you have a small table, you can just probably just do a sort the table and copy and paste transpose. But if you have a large table or if you do this on a recurring basis, you probably want to use a tool like Power Query. So let's see how it's done. So I'm in sheet one here. I have my tables and I'm going to bring these both into Power Query ta as tables as connection only tables. To do that, I'll go to data and select from table and my table is headers. So it's going to bring them in to Power Query and I'm going to click close and load. Uh, I just need to have this set up as a connection first. So I click close and load and make sure it's a connection, create only connection, click load. By default, I've already set up my Excel to load as this connection and not as a table. So it won't output it as another worksheet here in the table. So I'm going to do the same thing here. Go to data uh, from table and click OK and click close and load. So it's going to load it as a connection only. So we have table one and table two. Now I want to reference table one. I'll click on that, right click, select reference. So I just want to reference the output of that. And I'm going to merge queries. And now what I want to do is probably I'll give it a name here. I'll call it combine and then CSV, right? And uh, click tab. So that enters it in there. I'll select one of my cells here, my table here. Okay. my icons are available to me. They're not grayed out. So I'll go under merge queries and I want to merge table two query. So I'm going to merge table two query and I want to have the SKUs as the common field to merge them under. So when I click OK, we'll have another column here that has table. And so what it does is it represents that particular table uh, records for that SKU. You see 213 is there for that row. That's 213490. There was only one record in the table two here. That was that one. And 727, there was two records there, right? So what I want to do here now is I want to pull out the salesperson column is as another column. That I can do with add column. So I'll go to add column, add custom column. And here's where I need to write a little bit of custom code using the M code function. So the M code function, I'm going to take its case sensitive is table.column open parentheses and I want to take from the table, it takes two arguments. First is the table you want to take it from, double click that. And the second argument is what column do you want to take? I want to take the salesperson column. So I'll take type sales person, right? So it's a salesperson right there. I have to get the spelling correct, have it in quotes, close parentheses, click OK. And now you notice it's giving me a custom column. I'm not going to change the name of that. I don't need to. I'll change it later. But if I click on the white portion of that, you can see that it's brought in the values there, that single column, all those values there, right? There was three names for that one, one, and then two names here. But I want to have these in comma separate values, not as one record for each row. So I need to go back into that particular uh, M query or that particular add column step, double click that and add a, another function. And the other function I'm going to add to it is called text, text.combine, oops, combine, open parentheses. We want, we want to combine the output there. And what do we want to use as our delimiter? And so comma, and then the delimiter, I want to have a comma and then have a space comma, close parentheses, no syntax errors there. Click OK. And you're now to notice that it has separated out those values with comma. If I extend that out there, you can see it's done that. So I don't need this table anymore. Select it, right click and remove. And now I want to bring this over in a table. So click close and load to, and we want to create a table here. That's uh, we'll put on a new worksheet. That's fine. So it's going to load it as a new worksheet down here. And now you just notice that I've got my values here. So I brought in multiple values that are separated by commas. Uh, based on a lookup value. So that's how we can do it there using Power Query. 
So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.